Uh, next story, will robots So, be? we are in the future and of course, robots are a part of the future. So, Dubai, so robots will soon be delivering your food and shopping in Dubai. From August 2024, three smart delivery robots will start zipping around, bringing goodies from restaurants and shops in the plaza area straight to residents. In addition, these high-tech helpers will use a smart interface from Live Global to get the job done. And if you wonder how it's going to work, well, the sustainable uh, city's car-free, pedestrian-friendly design is the perfect place to try out these autonomous solutions. Also, the new delivery robot Pilot uses advanced tech to boost safety, cleanliness, and cost efficiency, and while cutting down on traffic emissions and wait times. These speedy robots will get your food and shopping to you in under 30 minutes without breaking a sweat. They dodge obstacles. find their own charging stations and they never get lost. Now, this initiative fits right into Dubai's big plan to have 25% of trips be autonomous by 2030. It's all part of the mission to make Dubai the smartest city on the planet. Mm. That's very interesting because you know what? I fear this. You fear it? Yeah. Tell me more. I mean, at this point, robots are going to be everywhere because like, I would... The last thing I ever expected was to have robots deliver our goodies, mm. food, and shopping things that we get online. However, you know, it's convenient for uh, like delivery riders because, like, it's uh, like we wouldn't want them to be out, right, in the heat and so on. So, robot is the answer, but I really hope that they do not create a human robot soon. It's, but it's really interesting on the, as you said there, because when time changes, mm-hmm. um, when technology um, advances, and you see things like we are, we we thrive on deliveries, and like true. how sustainable is it in the long run? Yeah. Especially as you know, I think Dubai is a model for other cities, so I don't think we're going to get less deliveries. I think other cities will um, follow in terms of. Uh, you know, not just food, but like we can have everything to our door in 10, 20 minutes. And maybe this is the beginning of technology. We see it here in one neighborhood of Dubai that they're, you know, dipping their toes into robot deliveries. But in 100 years, this might be the four. And I, you know, slow, adaptable to change Mm -hmm. mindset. I'm thinking, oh, it's going to be so annoying when there's a mistake because you need to call someone. You need to have that human interaction. Exactly. But this is day one. This is like early days. Like in a hundred years, you hope someone looks back at the show and be like, "What idiots! Like they didn't want robot deliveries. Like they're the best thing ever because there's a framework and it's regulated. And, no, I agree. You know, they do it in the yeah. sky, so you have no you have no delivery drivers on the road ever again. I agree with but you. But it takes these baby steps to get there. I agree with you. But like you know, when I order food and the food is late and I need to have lunch, like let's say by this time, and I'm very strict on my time with lunch, and uh, the delivery rider has. doesn't know where to come. Where, where's my house, for example, or where do I work? How can I call the, the, the delivery rider and be like, hi, uh, I am here at this place. It's a robot, it's not going to understand right. me. True, that's what, that's what I'm saying, it's going to be annoying. But yeah. uh, at the beginning, however, I think the robots will... What? What? Exactly. Robots will have a much, they're not going to get lost if you give the right address. And then you'll call the customer service person who's not out in the heat trying to deal with your food and your call at the same time. That which I true. would not like to be on the receiving end of that <laughs> call if Paris not had her lunch at the right time. Um, speaking <laughs> on not like to be on the receiving end, uh, our next